In today's video, we will be discussing the second part of the ABG's lecture. Is something compensated, partially compensated? If you're not sure, then make sure you keep watching. All right, wait. welcome to lesson two, arterial blood gases, and is it compensated? Is it partially compensated? Let's find out. I highly recommend that if you have not seen part one of this video that you please go back and watch part one because it builds on each other. That being said, you want to think of the acronym ROAM. When it's respiratory in nature, the arrows will be facing in the opposite direction. So if the pH is on the low end of the spectrum, it's acidic, CO2 will be high because when CO2 is broken down to carbonic acid, it is very acidic. Now, if you have low acid levels, then your pH is going to go high. It just makes sense. And then if you think of metabolic issue, it's going to be the arrows are facing in the same direction. So in metabolic, if it's alkalosis, then the pH is going to be on the high end of the spectrum and the bicarb is also going to be elevated because remember that bicarb is basic. I said in the last video that BB, right? Bicarb is your basic. And then when the pH is low, the bicarb is low because if you don't have anything to make the bloodstream basic, then it's not going to be alkalytic. But if you are confused by this, just remember the arrows and which direction they face and you will be fine. In order to determine if something is compensated, you want to look at the pH. Normal pH should be between 7.35 to 7.45. If the pH is within normal range, even though other lab values are out of range, then they are going to be fully compensated, which means the body has, high, has had time to catch up or it's a chronic condition. Now, if the pH is outside of normal limits, then they may be partially compensating or not compensating at all. Another key point that you wanna know is if it's under 7.4, then they are acidic. If they are above 7.4, then it's alkalytic. Alkalytic, alkalotic, same thing, tomato, tomato, okay? So normal references for arterial blood gases is a pH of 7.35 to 7.45 a CO2 between 35 and 45. And look, 35, 45, 35, 45. The only one you really need to remember is 22 to 26 because this one is contained in itself. Just a little way I remember. If you can't remember the CO2, just remember it's the last two numbers. The range of this goes here and 45 goes here. So let's practice because I feel like with practice, it'll be easier for you to get it. We have a pH of 7.2. Is that acidic? normal or basic that's acidic right the co2 it's 50 is that normal is that elevated normal co2 remember it was 35 to 45 so we have the ph going down and the co2 going high and normal bicarb is 22 to 26 so this is normal that means the body isn't trying to compensate at this moment in time so it's uncompensated respiratory acidosis because the pH is low and the CO2 is high. You see how the arrows are facing in opposite direction? Let's try a different one. Now we have a pH of 7.3, a CO2 of 50, and a bicarb of 30. Which way is the pH? Is this alkalytic, normal, acidic? It's acidic, right? 7.3. And then the CO2 is 50. So it's elevated and the bicarb is also elevated. So the arrows are facing in opposite direction. We'll start with that. We know it's acidic, so it's acidosis something. And then the CO2 is, is elevated, so it's up, the pH is down. So it's going to be respiratory acidosis. And because the bicarb is also elevated, it's trying to fix the problem, but it hasn't been successful. So it's partially compensated respiratory acidosis. pH is low, CO2 is high. Look, the arrows are facing in opposite direction. The bicarb is also high. But do you see how anytime there is an arrow that faces in the opposite direction, it makes it respiratory? Let's practice again. 
Now we have a pH that's 7.35. So which way is it going up or down? Remember I said that even though this is within normal range, if it was less than 7.4, that we were going to treat it as acidosis, right? Normal CO2 is 35 to 45. So this is elevated, CO2, the pH is low. Now what's the bicarb doing? Normal bicarb is 22 to 26. So this is where the body has been able to compensate. So it's fully compensated respiratory acidosis because the CO2 is high, the bicarb is high, the pH is facing in the opposite direction. So because this is going low, even though these two are going in the same direction, it invalidates it. 7.35 is on the low side. Let's do another practice question. We have a pH of 7.36. Yes, it's within normal range. So we know it's going to be fully compensated. Now, is it on the high end or the low end? It's less than 7.4. So we know it's going to be acidosis something. CO2, normal CO2 is 35 to 45. Okay, so the CO2, the pH is low, the CO2 is low, the bicarb normal is 22 to 26, bicarb is low. They're all facing down, so it's fully compensated metabolic acidosis. Down, down, down. You see? 7.36 is on the low side. Now we have a pH of 7.45, so this is on the high side. We have a CO2 of 29, so normal CO2 is 35 to 45. We have a high pH, a low CO2, and the bicarb is also low. So it's fully compensated respiratory alkalosis. pH is high, CO2 is low, bicarb is also low. So as you see here, the arrows, this arrow is in the opposite direction of this, and that's why. So this is on the high side, even, it's, even though it's within range. Let's practice again. We have a pH of 7.49. Is that within range or outside of range? It's outside of range, normal 7.35 to 7.45. We have a CO2 of 49. Is that within range? Normal is 35 to 45. And then we have a bicarb of 30. Is that high or low? So we have something alkalosis, right? And it's going to be partially compensated if two lab values are outside of range, and they are, because this is 35 to 45, so CO2 pH is high. CO2 is elevated, and bicarb is elevated. They're all facing up. So this is going to be metabolic alkalosis, and the body is trying to compensate with the CO2 by increasing it to see if maybe it can make the blood it can make the body more acidic so partially compensated metabolic alkalosis co2 is high bicarb is high ph is elevated so that concludes our examples i hope that this is now crystal clear please drop in the comments if this made sense thank you so much for watching make sure you hit the like and subscribe button